forecasts are one of the most powerful tools a skipper can use. Whether you're planning a passage, choosing a sail setup, or deciding whether to head out at all, the forecast helps take the guesswork out of your decisions. It doesn't matter if you're coastal cruising or island hopping, being able to access and interpret a weather forecast can make or break a trip. Synoptic charts, also called surface pressure charts, give you the big picture. They show you where the weather is coming from and where it's going. You'll see high and low pressure systems, frontal boundaries, and isobars, those curved lines that show areas of equal pressure. These charts are excellent for seeing the overall setup. Is a low pressure system approaching? Are the isobars tightening? Is a front moving over your sailing area? These are questions that help you anticipate the weather, not just react to it. Reading a synoptic chart doesn't require a degree in meteorology, just a few key concepts. First, the spacing of isobars tells you how windy it will be. Closer lines mean stronger winds. Second, in the Northern Hemisphere, wind flows clockwise around high pressure systems and counterclockwise around lows. That means you can estimate the wind direction just by looking at pressure systems. And finally, the presence of fronts, especially cold fronts, can signal abrupt changes in wind speed, direction, and rainfall. Watch these closely when timing your route or anchorage decisions. If synoptic charts show the big picture, GRIB files give you the zoomed-in view. These are raw data files generated by weather models that provide a visual forecast over time. You can see animated wind arrows, rain bands, pressure gradients, swell forecasts, and more. Hour by hour, location by location, the strength of GRIB files is detail. The downside, they don't come with explanations, no fronts, no weather symbols, you need to interpret what you're seeing. That's where apps come in. Tools like Windy and Predict Wind make accessing this data simple and visual. Windy lets you overlay different models and compare them in real time. Predict Wind gives you routing suggestions and downloadable gribs. Navionics, when paired with a weather overlay, is perfect for coastal sailing and anchorage planning. And don't forget the basics, VHF weather broadcasts N-A-V-T-E-X and Coast Guard bulletins are still incredibly reliable, especially when offshore or out of cell range. It's also worth knowing where the data is coming from. Different forecast models produce different results. GFS is global, free and widely used. ECMWF is often considered more accurate, especially in Europe, though not always free. Icon and Arome offer higher resolution forecasts that can better capture local effects. The key is this, no single model is perfect. Comparing two or three models side by side gives you a much better idea of what to expect. Using weather tools effectively means creating a routine. Don't just glance at one app and call it done. Check multiple sources. Look at the big picture with a synoptic chart, then zoom into your local area with GRIB files. Compare the timing and direction of changes across models. And always refresh the data. Weather can shift quickly, and a forecast from yesterday might already be out of date. When you combine these tools with what you're seeing and feeling on the water, that's when you start thinking like a weather-savvy skipper. You're not just looking at data, you're making informed choices, building flexibility into your plans, and keeping your crew safer and more comfortable along the way.